chapter break on case D13481723-C. Okay, come on back up, sir. the plaintiff about his request for admissions and response to request for admissions. May I mark this as next exhibit? It's um... Okay, do you have any objection? Um, I'm actually trying to find the, the one that I have here. Um, was that served on uh, February 21st? Yeah, I think you, um, yes, you guys served to me on February 21st. Okay, I have it here. That's fine. Okay. May I approach your honor to you mark as next in line? No, I'm sorry. Request for admission. Oh, request for admission. Are they the request or the responses? The responses. I apologize. The, res the responses to the request. Okay. Yeah, I'd like you to look at page 8, request for admission number 20. If you could read that request for uh, admission number 20 into the record. Do you admit or deny that you have no signed writing from Mrs. Schoenwald wherein she promises, agrees, or otherwise states she is moving with the children to Florida? And can you please read in your response? The whole thing that was said? Yes. Oh, yeah, the whole thing. This response reflects defendants' responsible inquiries and diligent good faith efforts to locate responsive information. Defendant objects to this request for admission because signed writing is ambiguous and unclear. Have, uh, without waiving and subject to this objection, defendant responds as follows. Deny that there was a, deny there was not a promise or agreement by Mr. Schoenwald that she would move with the children to Florida and admit there was no signed writing. And you agree with that, that there is no signed writing, correct? There's no signed writing. Can you please read in the request for admission number 19? Do you admit or deny that you had minor children born of your relationship with Mrs. Schoenwald approximately 46 days in your care during the entire 2017? The response reflects defendant's responsible inquiries and diligent good faith efforts to locate responsible information. Defendant responds as follows. Defendant cannot confirm or deny the exact number of days the minor children were in his care for the entire 2017 at this time, and for those reasons denies as to the number of 46 specifically. Defendant admits he had the minor children less often due to the move, but this was an agreed upon by both parties as a temporary arrangement. Yeah, you would agree that those requests for admission were served on me in February of 2018, correct? Yes. Is that correct, yes? Yes. And since that time, you still haven't been able to count up how many days you had the kids in 2017. Is that your testimony under oath? Is that, the, your, is that your position? The exact number, yes. Yeah. No way to figure that out, right? Is that, that your testimony? I don't know the exact number, but I would, I could just, I could give you an assumption or kind of a guess as to how many. I don't know the exact amount. So I want to make sure, though, even though I sent you these requests for admissions back in, in January, you never went to a calendar and sat down and said, okay, let me count up the days 
and figure out whether it's exactly 45 or 46, right? Never did that, correct? Yes or no? Yes. Do you admit or deny that you worked at Coral Springs Nissan in Florida and earned more than one hundred thousand dollars in two thousand and seventeen? What was your answer? This response reflects defendant's responsible inquiries and diligent good faith efforts. Defendant responds, admit. And then we did one down below it. What was the next request? Do you admit or deny that you quit your job at Coral Springs Nissan? The response reflects defendant's reasonable inquiries and diligent good faith efforts. Admit. That was a voluntary quitting of that job in Florida, correct? I resigned, yes. And you were paid as a W-2 employee, is that correct? Correct. And what your testimony under oath here today is that you've made one, one application, according to you, that, a place you can't really recall, since that time for a job here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as an employee, correct? Yes or no? I have a better answer for you now. No, that well, I, at, yeah. well, you know what? Yeah, after your break with your no, attorney, no. now you have a better answer. Is that the, is that your no. testimony? No, I send in resumes, and I, sp I spoke to one dealer over the phone. I didn't have a formal interview, though. Okay. So ha has your testimony changed from what you told me about an hour ago, that you'd made a single effort one time? No, spoke to one dealer. Spoke to one dealer. The truth is you could be working at a car dealership right now today. Isn't that true? Not in Las Vegas, sir, no. Agree with me that you're under an order to pay child support, correct? Correct. I'd like to approach with our amended schedule of child support arrears, Your Honor. But yes. Before I get to that, you agree with me that you discontinued paying any child support in November or December. You didn't pay any support, isn't that correct? Not true. November, I paid full support in November. When did you stop paying support until the judge told you to start paying again? There was only one month where I didn't pay anything. That would be December. And then every month after that, I paid uh, something, six or seven hundred bucks. I think. Well, let's take a look at. Well, let me ask you this: In December, we know that you made at least one Maserati payment, right? You made that payment in December, correct? Correct. For over nine hundred bucks, right? Correct. But you paid zero, right? Zilch in December, right? Correct. Right. And to this, and to today's date, you paid zero for December, right? In December, correct. I guess. May I approach around with us with a copy of the amended schedule of child support arrears? Does that accurately reflect what you've paid in child support since you've been in court? difference not including interest or penalties between what you're ordered to pay and what you actually pay would be ninety four hundred and five dollars isn't that correct is that true that's what you have yes sir and you'd agree that you're not allowed to just pay whatever you think is fair right for child support correct is that true I tried to pay what I had, sir. Other than, the, uh, let me strike it. Does Shelly Ann have any employment here in Nevada where she lives and resides with you? Yes. Okay. What's that employment? Well, we have the dealer automotive group. Okay. And dealer right. auto group. So other than that? Not, no. So all of her business interests and her employment, because I asked you earlier, is buying and rehabbing and selling homes down in Florida, right? Correct. Okay. I just want to make sure I understand that if she's not a resident of Florida, she's a resident here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Is that correct? She goes back and forth, sir. Back and forth. How often does she go back and forth? She's probably been back and forth four times. 
since we've been back here? Four times. When was the last time? You would have to ask her the exact date, sir. She's been here in a few months. So could you just give me your best answer as to when the last time she was? Well, I know she went back uh, to finish uh, on the rehab of the home that she had, and then when that was put up for sale, she came back with when me. Was that? So okay. When is, I'm not sure the exact day. You would have to ask her, sir. I don't know the exact what date. What month was it? I don't know the exact date. You'd have to ask her, sir. I don't know anything further, Your Honor. <coughs> I think I am going to do my cross if that's okay. Um, Go ahead and do that now. Just okay. because that's fresh in my mind. And, um, just going back, um, well, I just want to make sure you're on the binder that I have out in front of me. I believe it's the one, um, the white one next to you. It, the exhibits will be lettered instead of numbered. Which which one? The um the defendants exhibits. I'm just gonna switch over. Sorry about that. X. You stated um, that you did, in fact, tell Heather that in 2002 you would be willing for her to relocate to Tampa, Florida. In 2000. In 2015. 15. Pardon me. 2015. I don't want to get any more confusion on the date. Is that correct? Say the say your question again. You did. In fact, agree to allow the boys and Heather move to yes. Tampa, Florida, in 2015. Correct. Yeah. And we looked at um, some text messaging back and forth. Um, you weren't a hundred percent sure that you wanted the kids to go, right? Uh, initially, I object, Ryan. This is leading. You're not allowed to lead your own way. Did you did you change your mind from back and forth? Yes. Same okay. objection. Um, sustain. Uh, can I have you go to HS029? Which exhibit is this? This is exhibit X, Your Honor. Okay. And the and number? Um, H, well, actually, we're still with HS028. Okay. Well, can I have you read this text message that... Or do you recognize this text message coming yes. from your Can I have you read this to the court? Heather, I don't know how I can be away from the boys at long last. I don't know how it could be away from the boys at long lens, but this could be your only chance to better yourself. I have a few options in Tampa that I'll be continuing to explore over the next several months, but I need to take this job to, to make some money so I can pay bills. Okay, you can just stop there. So is this communication, in fact, letting Heather know that you understand she has an opportunity in Tampa Yes. And you know at that time that you did not have an opportunity in Tampa. She's going to object her answer leading. Sustained. You, 
you couldn't go to Tampa, is that correct? Correct. And why couldn't you go? I just took a second job uh, in Las Vegas. And you, so when she had the opportunity, were you open to both boys leaving? Can I yes. object, Ross? Okay. I would draw it. Or you can answer the question. Yes. And then if you move over to um, the next bait stamp, HS029. Can you just finish the text message here? for? The but we will try sooner than later. Just promise me. I can see the boys. As often as possible. And I always explain to them. I had to stay. Okay. When you decided to move away to Florida, did you want to have the children more? I was going to have yes. Jack leading. Did you Sustain. want to have the children more while you were in Florida? Yes. Sustain. Did you attempt to have the children more while you were in Florida? Yes. Send correspondence to Heather requesting that the boys can stay. Yes. going to go to some of those, um, that, some of that correspondence. So if you go to exhibit P, Paul. P. Bait stamp 593, where the correspondence starts. I apologize. What exhibit again? It's exhibit P, and it's bait stamp 593. Do you remember sending this email? Yes. And what does the email speak to, if you could tell the court? You want me to read it? I have tried time and time again to clarify clarification on a date to see my boys over 20 times through text, email, and numerous phone calls. You will not let me know a date. I think something bigger is going on here and is making me worried. I also spoke, spoke to our tax guy, Harold, and he said that you told him last that you were planning on moving to Canada. With the way you are not giving me a date and ignoring my request and the news that you're trying to move to Canada with our boys, I'll have to send a letter through my attorney to the Immigration Department to halt your travels. I have also be forced to send a letter to the same department about my opinion on other issues. Okay. You can turn to the next um, next email on the next page. Eight stamp five nine four. Heather, I'm writing this email to establish a date where the boys can come see me. I need to know what the date is. I need a plan I need to plan over the next few months while I'm away working and until I get enough money to move back to Las Vegas full time. Please send me a date when they can fly here. This is the sixth email with no response. Okay, and the next email at base temp 595. Heather, I've asked you at least 10 times about dates for the boys to come see me. I have to buy tickets, and you keep putting it off. This is getting way out of hand. I'm asking for 3.5 months of the summer, or 3.5 weeks with my boys. Please let me know the dates that will work for you. No sense in paying daycare when I can have them for a few weeks. Okay, so there was communication and attempts to attempt to have the boys more. Yes. No, Jack, leading. Oh. A 
sustained. Yes, Cole, when did you and Heather open up the Kids Quest account? Can I look at their document to see yes, the exact date? You can. Can they tell me the 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 document number? Do you have the exhibit number? Oh, I'm finding the there. Probably in the table of contents. Oh, I see. First time they were in there is four of 2012. And you opened that up at that account while you were still with Heather, correct? Correct. And how many times have they gone to Kids Quest in the last seven years? Twenty-four times. Twenty-four times. Yeah. So I'd say maybe, maybe. Three or four times a year? Does that sound about right? Correct. correct. It's leading. Uh, sustain. Do your kids like to go to Kids Quest? They love it. And how long do they stay in Kids Quest? Usually an hour to two hours at the most. And is it unsafe at Kids Quest? Not at all. They've never been hurt. You mentioned briefly. Um, you owe back taxes to the IRS. Correct. Is this one of the reasons you and Shelley file separate taxes? Correct. Well, not like that. Since you've returned to Las Vegas from Florida, have you sent any horrible text messages to Heather? How has your relationship been since you've returned? It's been okay. We've been communicating by app, uh, uh, the courts asked us to, although she's probably sent me 30 text messages and I've done the same, but it's been primarily related to the boys. But there's been no volatile speech. No. At times, do the boys make up stories about your partners? Absolutely. Have you recently had a story that was made up about Heather's partner? Yes. And how did you deal with that with Heather? Uh, I, I communicated to her on the app what, what my kid had explained what happened, and then I, she wanted to call, and we put her and her partner on FaceTime with my boy and let him explain it to, to them. So you're able to work together and resolve yes. these types of issues. When, you, when we talk about Shelly's income or, or assets, these were assets that Shelly owned prior to your relationship. Correct. So when she's purchasing real estate, these are not with your funds or your know. assets. And in terms of payment per month for the children, have you made all of the children's private school tuition payments? Yes. So you are current on all of those payments? Yes. Okay. Those are the only questions I had, Your Honor. Thank you. Well, let's take a look at um, your own exhibit. So we're, ba we're back here at Exhibit X. Let's go to Bait Stamp. Um, HS052. Remember when I asked you? Or where am I going, sir? I'm sure. Going. You know what? Let me ask the question first. Um, you're claiming that you never threatened my client that she was going to get a lot less in child support if she didn't accede to your demands. Do you, do you recall that? I didn't threaten her. I told her okay. that I would take a cut. All right. Pay, let's sir. look at exhibit. Let's look at exhibit X. On whose? On yours? No. Your, it's your attorney's book. Let's look at Bates Stamp HS052. Let's 
let's look at, um, okay, you remember sending that, in fact. Which, we'll, which, what's the number, sir? I'm sorry. Okay. It was the same book that you were just in, a few pages away from what you were just working your own. X, attorney. what's the stamp? X, base okay. stamp HS052. Zero five two. Okay. Okay. And here's what you wrote, right, to Heather. Is that correct? That's correct. Heather, I have 118 in my account right now. We'll send money in next day or two. Also, not sure what you're trying to get a mediator for. I won't agree to giving you more custody or more money. So if it has anything to do with that, don't waste my time. And in fact, she did ask for for mediation and you went to mediation before you came to court, isn't that correct? That's true. All right. I'm looking for a place now, I'll leave my job by December, and I'm looking for work in Vegas as we speak. Shelly's helping us get into a place, she will not be helping me with my bills or responsibilities though, so just be prepared for some tough times initially until I get back to work. See that? That's not a threat. Then, yeah. then the next page, HS053, yeah, you just commented that wasn't a threat. Let's look at this one, HS053. And go ahead and read that into the record. Here we are again with this stupid ass text. You're a fucking idiot. Stop saying stupid things, you retard. Shelly. And you're talking to your wife, and I'm sorry, you're talking to my client here, is that correct? Correct. All right. Shelly pays for all her bills. I don't help her with any of them. She has over 200,000 cash in hand. You're a retard. Okay, I don't. let's just stop right okay. there. The truth was, when you sent this to my client, that was a flat out lie. You were paying some of her bills right from your, directly from your account. Isn't that true? Correct. Okay, so you lied here, isn't that right? Lied on the text to her? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you weren't truthful and you'd agree with me that was, this was a bullying text message, right? True? I wouldn't say bullying. No, no you wouldn't say that. All right, did, did Shelly have $200,000 in cash on hand? She did after she sold her two condos. Okay. She did. Uh, but conveniently that's not available today. Is that what you're telling me? No, she bought she bought okay. a, a house with that. So it's not available, correct? Not at all, no, okay. sir. Um, look, read the rest of it there. What's the rest of it say? This is exactly what I'm talking about. You say no, no. stupid. I don't pay, I don't anything. pay anything. Been paying my bills. I don't understand what that, that, I must mistype something there, my bills. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You saying stupid shit. I cannot stand you. We will let the judge decide when you, when, when you get back there and I'm only making 4000 a month. Hey, you know what's funny is when you came into court on your FDF, that's what you indicated to the court you were making was 4000 a month. Isn't that true? Not true. Okay. How much did you claim to the court you were making when you filed your financial disclosure form with the court? How much did you say that you were making here? When I first got back yeah. from November to January, yeah. I think it was 5300 a month I probably averaged. That's not what you represented to the court though, is it? Right? Whatever, whatever is on there. Okay. That's what I. Let's look at Bates stamp HS054 and read what you wrote th uh, then to my client. Heather, without going back to court and debating this with a judge, I have to speak to the auto mall again today. They're open to me working part time, but we can agree on something without we can't agree on something without knowing a schedule. Currently, I will not have a job at the end of the month. So as an op so an option for some income would be to work at each store they own three days a month to monitor the teams I have in place. This would mean me having to travel back there or back here. Would you be open to two weeks on, two weeks off? See that? Yes. Okay. And that's really why you want to have the schedule that, that you're asking for this week on, week off, is because it's convenient for you to go back and forth to Florida. Isn't that correct? That's no, no longer available. No, that's not the okay. truth. That's not the reason. No. Let's look at Bates stamp o th uh, HS035. Which number? HS035. You recognize this text message from your uh, wife? Yeah. Okay. Let's see where it says, we'll just cut down in the middle of it. It says, if I have to drive to Orlando every week and help out, I will. He got to start working to get his bills and taxes down. Things are getting out of control for him and he's going to start working he interviewed for a job here, and I told him, no, please hold off till we go to Miami. Okay, please? Do you see that? I didn't. Okay, and then right below it says, please don't tell him I'm texting you, okay? See that? Uh-huh. 
because the truth is you never told my client about interviewing in Miami. She got that information from your significant other, correct? No, that's not true. Okay. Let's look at Bates Stamp 036. Have you seen that text message from your significant other? Yep. Okay. So in the text messages and emails that you've sent my client, you've called her at various times a retard, right? Correct? Correct. Stupid, right? Correct. The C word, right? Correct. Um, an idiot, right? Correct. And you've threatened her with immigration. Isn't that true? Isn't that correct? I didn't threaten her. All right. I didn't call it threaten her. If she was leaving with my boys, I said I would send a letter. The truth is the person that you're referring to hadn't even done her taxes. And since 2014. Isn't that true? I don't know that. I don't know. Let's look at Bates Stamp. Um, I, I just want to make sure at no time did the boys ever, ever hear you say anything negative about no. mom, ever. No. Right? No. Okay. Let's look at Bates Stamp 593. Where's that at? Under what? Uh, I'm looking at. Uh, it is your. It is Exhibit O. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's look at. This is the one. In fact, you went through it with your own. Uh, attorney, bait stamp 593. Let's look at the section right here, the last, uh, the, uh, the third paragraph on the bottom. It says, I will also be forced to send a letter to the same department about my opinion on other issues related to you with the facts I have gathered over the last 12 years. You see that? See that? Yes. Okay. And what you're threatening her with is to call immigration, isn't that correct? Is not what you're referring to? I was referring. Yes or no? I was referring to if she left out of the country with my boys, I would call immigration. Yes. Well, let's see what you wrote. Has she ever made any attempt, to your knowledge, to move to Canada with the boys? Yes or no? What proof do you have? Let me strike it out this way. What proof of any do you have that she ever attempted to move the boys to Canada? Uh, just this. Couple, uh, just this past month, she sent the kids with her mom to Canada. She did not travel with them, and they traveled back without her. All along, I thought she was with them, and she misrepresented to me so that she was So you thought she was doing. kidnapping the kids? I don't know what she was doing. Okay. I gave her permission to travel with the kids, and she didn't travel with them. Didn't you sign a letter on her behalf so that she could travel, travel with, so that she could travel? I, si I signed my, the letter I signed gave her mom permission to go. Right. Gave her mom permission to go from across the border with the kids to go shopping in the theme parks, not not to travel with the kids. She was the one supposed to be traveling with the kids. You know, I, I'll pull out the letter, but isn't it true that the letter that you signed said that her her mother could travel with the kids to Canada? You, she was going over the border to Canada, right? Yes you, or no? You was have. She flew back with them, sir. Yes, that's right. correct. You have to have a permission letter to Let's go. Let's look at H O. Um, sorry, H S O three five. What number? Or what uh, letter? That's going to be Exhibit um, Y. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's not Exhibit Y. It's Why? Are you sure? No, I think it's X. Yep, exhibit X. <sighs> you received this. Um, on December 2nd, 2015, from Heather? HS035? Uh, no, HS027.
Yes. And she, in fact, received the job. Isn't that correct? I don't know that she got a formal acceptance. I'm not sure of that. I never saw that. Okay. You don't know. But you don't deny that you sent her a, a text message telling her that she couldn't go. You don't, you don't disagree with that. You've already I did initially, that. yes. Let's go to HS050, no, I'm sorry, HS049. Let's look at, um, that starts, um, you sent this, correct? Yes. All right, and what's it start out with? What's the first this line? fuck you. And I will move back and immediately go to court so you can get half of what you're getting now. And that's exactly what you did, right? Isn't that true? That was the truth. Okay. And that was day. Uh, that was done on May 7th. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And you already knew in advance that you were going to pay her half as much as what she was getting when you came back to Las Vegas. Isn't that true? Because that was the plan you had all along, right? No, I know without right. my second job, I wouldn't make enough money to pay her what okay. I was paying her. Go ahead and read the rest of it. You have no respect and don't appreciate anything I do. Keep it up. Now you're keeping the kids away. You are evil. I will be coming back as soon as possible, and you can count on less money and staying in Vegas forever if you are not sent back to Canada first. You can work for Aflac in Vegas. And then what would you say below it? Because Colonial won't want you. Okay. And she asked you, she put in big capital letters, this is harassment, right? Is that correct? Yes. All right. Well, let's look at the next page. Just read in the rest of what you wrote to her. I am done with you. I'll be sure to write some nice letters upon you going to court for your papers, as well as... Okay. Wait. Let's stop there. What papers were you referring to? I will be sure to write some nice letters upon you going to court for your papers. You were talking about immigration. Isn't that correct? I don't recall. Come on, sir. You knew exactly... You, you know as you sit there today will be sure that to you were nice threatening to do something with immigration, court. right? Isn't that true? It, it could be, but I think that it you're taking be. this out of sub. Uh, this is because I thought she was taking the kids Sorry, out of the you, country. No. My question is simply this. You understand you're under oath, correct? Yes. You need to tell the judge the truth today, right? Yes. Okay. I'm asking you that when you refer to an HS050, you're talking about immigration specifically. Isn't that true? I think so, yes. And in fact, the page before you were threatening her that she's going to be deported to Canada, right? I don't know that that's Isn't it that's true said. that at all times my clients from here legally in the U.S.? Isn't that true? I, Isn't that true? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, well, do you know that she's a citizen of the United States? I think that just happened a month or two ago. Yeah. Okay. And then let's re read the rest of it. Go ahead and read it out loud for what you wrote to her. All I'm asking is to see my kids half the summer. But you, do you want to play fucking games, you stupid cunt? Okay, Stop reading. texting me. I am done with you. Absolutely fucking done with you. Dirty bitch. Go tell your fucking employers why you're fucking trying to go work for the competitor. You're probably stealing clients as well. Start working on your story. Start working on your fucking story because you're a lying bitch when it comes to me. I'm sure you're going to start another big fucking lie to your own employers. Don't, don't worry. I got the text that says you're meeting with them as well. You go fuck yourself, you dirty bitch. Okay, go ahead and read the next page. Page stamp HS. And I'll move back to Vegas so no one will move now. Move out of Vegas. That's what you've done now. I don't care anymore what you do or say. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's her. So you want me to read the next thing? No. Uh, no one will move out of Vegas. That's what you've done now. You see that? Yeah. Okay. And then what did she respond to you? She says, I don't care anymore what you do or say to try to intimidate me. I'm a good person. I'm a good mom. I work really hard. Are all those things true? Yes. And what did you write back? That's good. You can, you can be a good mom. Keep it up because you're lying to our kids and you're lying to me and you're using your kids, you're using our kids against me like a dirty bitch. 
Isn't it true that you had the kids, that Heather brought the kids out to you on multiple occasions? I'll just see if I can refresh your memory because we seem to have some dispute about when the kids were out there. Were they out there from April 7th to the 7th to the 18th, 12 days? I, I think April 18th, I thought they came out. But, yeah, I would say I would think that's about right. Okay, so April 7th to April 18th, that's 12 days. Or April 18th, I thought they came, and I don't know. You, well, did they come out to you? You know what? <laughs> you, you understand this is Yeah, really I, under, I understand right? okay. what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. So listen to my question. Were they out in April for 12 days in, in, in April of 2017? Yes. Okay, and who brought them out there? I flew them out. Okay. Did Mom come? Yes. Okay, so she came with the kids out for 12 days in April. Is that fair to say? Correct. All right. Then you say they, out. Do you mean Florida? Yes. Out to Florida. Then May 25th to, to uh, May 30th, it was six days. Were they out there during that period of time? I flew them out again, yes. Okay. And did they have six days with you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. July 12th, did Mom fly the, ch the children out to Fort Lauderdale? And you had the kids from July 12th to August 5th for 25 days. I flew the kids out. She paid for her own ticket that time. And, yes, I had them for, I don't know the exact number of days, but it, I thought it was close to three weeks, three and a half weeks. Okay. And if it shows that it was April, it was July 12th to, to August 5th, that's 25 days approximately. And that's what you were asking for, about three weeks, right? Isn't that true? In the summer. Right. Correct. She gave you what you were asking for, right? Yes. And you were free to come here anytime you wanted, in addition to those days, to spend time with the kids, right? I couldn't because yes. I was working. Any time I wanted, no. Okay. I, I wish I could have came all the time, but I had a full-time job there. Yeah, but nothing was preventing. She wasn't preventing you in any way from coming and see the kids, right? I couldn't get off to come down. And you agree with me that she couldn't just pick up and leave. She had to have a job in, in, in Florida, right? Would you agree with that statement? No. She wouldn't have to have a job in Florida? No. Okay. All right. I don't have anything further on it. Getting we cross? Um, at this time, no. I'm assuming we're still going to do direct. I'll mm -hmm. have my direct next. Okay, you can step down, sir. Leave this, these things up here, these two things? Yeah, you can leave them right there. All right, it's noon. Want to break for lunch? Do you want to go on for a bit? Who do you have? We're fine to go to lunch, Ron, if that's easy. Is that better for the court? I mean, I mean it's, it's a good time to take a break. Right. Is that good with you? How many witnesses do you have? Just my client, Your Honor. Okay. Um, and then I was just going to call... Shelly and Heather. Okay. All right. All right. We'll come back at one. Yeah. Yeah.